Hi again and welcome to video number three on how to read in Arabic. In today's video, I'm going to teach you about the ta marbuta, looking like this. Ta al marbuta is a letter that comes from the letter alphabet ta, but instead we are gonna tie it up and close it, making it called as a tied ta. The ta al marbuta. Now, why is it there in Arabic? Well, reason is simple. Arabic somehow kind of similar to French. When I say that, I mean both have the he and she and don't have something called the subject it. We just don't really have that. And we know it is used in English for anything that is a non-living item. But that's not the case in Arabic nor in French. We give a gender to each and every single item that we have. It either could be a masculine or a feminine. Let me make things simple and easy for you. You probably be like, then how could I know this is a masculine or a feminine word? Well, let me tell you, in general, all nouns are masculine in Arabic, but many nouns and adjectives can be then made into a phonem by adding a few more letters to the end of the word, changing it from the masculine form into a phonem form. And an easy way to identify that this word is a phonem word, well, any word that you see ending up with a ta it is simply a female word, a phonem word. In another word, when you ever see a ta that's it. Don't even think about it. This is a feminine word. Again, there is also sometimes you would say the ta is written like this. Well, this is a ha looking like a ta, except that there aren't any dots on top. And why we do that? Well, being honest, the ta al marbuta in the end of the word would sound like a ha and you would only pronounce it as a ta only if there is the vowel before the ta marbuta. I've already taught you what are the vowels in my previous video. So guys, make sure you've watched that. Link in the description box. For now, let me give you an example of a word that ends up with the ta marbuta. I will take the word tufahaton. Tufahaton. Tufahaton is um, ending with a ta marbuta. I never explained you anything about the tanween sukun, which is on the ta al marbuta, but I will explain it in my future videos. Tufahaton means an apple. And as you have seen, the letter before the ta al marbuta is a ha, ha with a fatha, so we are gonna pronounce it as a ha, ha. And since I have told you that any letter that has a the vowel, a short term vowel, fatha dhamme kasra, we are going to pronounce the ta as a ta and not a ha. Another example of how to pronounce the ta al marbuta as a ha is with the word sayara sayara we didn't say sayara because the letter r has no vowel on top of it so we are going up to pronounce it as a ha not a ta but we could write it as a ta or a ha and a good way to practice how to transform a word from singular to a plural with any word that ends up with the ta marbuta you simply add a alif mad alif long vowel before the ta marbuta and open the ta marbuta making it into a ta maftuha example tufahatun tufahat tufahat sayyara sayyarat sayyarat now I want you to post a video and transfer the word idaraton, which means administration, idaraton to plural. Okay, simple. All you got to do again, you see the letter ra. After the letter ra, put a mid alif long vowel. Then open the closed ta into an open ta, making the word to become idarat idarat and not idara you also may have seen with the word idara 
تون وي هاد برونونس دي تاء المربوطة إدارة تون and we pronounce it as a ta and not a ha because the letter r has a fatha before it literally that was everything about the ta al marbuta thank you guys for watching my video hope this video was helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and ring the bell leave a comment down below thank you so much for watching my video and see you in the next videos bye